Good morning and welcome back to Charles Herbert Flowers High School, a mecca of excellence why our Jaguars hustle harder by exhibiting hard work, utilizing resources, our success-oriented, tenacious leaders, exceeding expectations. Want to thank everybody who has been choosing to be great over these first five weeks. I'm really excited to see progress reports. They actually go in tomorrow and they will go home to you guys next week. I know lots of you guys are going to have straight A's and B's, and I'm really excited to see so many of our students at Charles River Flowers High School doing well. So continue doing what you're doing in the classroom. I want you to understand that victory happens there. Regardless of where else it happens, on the field of play, anywhere, nothing is more important than what happens in the classroom. So thank you guys for, that, that have been committing to that. For those who have not been doing as well, there's a couple of key things that you can do to ensure that you're being successful, getting to class on time, completing all your assignments, following your teacher's directions. Those things will, show, uh, will help you show immediate improvement in the classroom. So make sure that you're utilizing uh, those things in order to be successful. Couple things. First of all, there's been a recent uptick in violence here, uh, especially in the morning coming in. Make sure that you're utilizing one of the three entrances that we have. You don't have to just go around to the gym. You can come around to the Main Street entrance, and you can also come around to the administrative entrance. We're going to start opening up the gym a little earlier so that you can get there. You can get inside around 7.05. But the main thing is that if you see some nonsense going on, remove yourself from it. Get away from it. Don't involve yourself in it. Um, if you are participating in it, and if you have intentions to come here to start nonsense, understand that I have no problem with making this your last day at Charles Herbert Flowers High School. Understand that the state of Maryland is only required to provide you with a free public education up to the age of 16. And if you're not matriculating to be successful, you're not moving towards graduation, then I will ask you to clean out your locker, leave your books, and to exit my building, period. It's not a game. If you are here to do anything besides get an education and participate in our sanctioned extracurricular activities, then it's a wrap. I'm done with it. I'm not going to have any more nonsense at these buses in the morning. Who wants to get up and fight at 7 o'clock in the morning? What type of violence do you have in your heart that you feel like you want to go with somebody at 7 o'clock in the morning? Well, guess what? If you want to do that, you won't do it here. So that's that on this. If you have any issues with anybody, they're bringing something to you, please make sure that you bring it to our attention, security and administration's attention, your classroom teacher's attention immediately. Understand that fighting does not have to be your, your option. You can remove yourself from the situation. You can act like a young adult, and you can handle things in the way they're supposed to be handled. So let's make sure that we're doing that every morning here at Charles Herbert Flowers High School. So last week, we talked about the seven habits of highly effective teens by, uh, by uh, Stephen Covey. And so the first three we discussed last week around the, pr the private victory. And so the private victory is about what you're doing internally every day to ensure that you're a highly effective team. And so we talked about being proactive. And that has to do with planning and ensuring that you're putting yourself in the best possible position to be successful. We talked about beginning with the end of mind. So knowing what your goal is and working towards that goal every day. And then we talked about putting first things first. And so that means that you have to take, make sure that you are taking care of your priorities. And if your priorities are not the same thing as your friend's priorities, then maybe you need some new friends. So we talk about being success oriented. So when you're success oriented, that means that you're putting yourself around people and, and places and things that are based on your own personal success. So if you're doing things that are not aligned with your goal, then you need to remove them in your life, from your life. That's, about, that's how you make a priority of the things that are important to you. That's how you are proactive. That's how you put your, the, the end in mind. So we talked about the private victory last week. This week we're going to talk about the public victory because we have to understand we have two faces. We have the one that we have internally and the decisions that we make, but, um, but we do not live in a vacuum. We have to deal with people. We live with people every day, and we have to know how to um, best interact with people in order to ensure our success. So the private victory, it's about the outside. And so the first one is think win-win, right? So when you enter a situation, don't just think about you and, what's, and how you can win in a situation. Think about when you're involved in a conflict or an interaction, how, what is the best way so that both people that are involved in this can, uh, can achieve victory? Because once you do that, you've developed an ally. And once you start developing allies, you'll have people that can help you be successful in your life. So in the classroom with your teachers, think win-win. 
don't, don't go into the classroom and think that you're going to go at your teacher and cause conflict in the classroom and it's not going to have any retribution or, paper or, or come back to you. Understand that that's the teacher's classroom. When you think win-win in the classroom, you're thinking about not only how you can get your education, but how you can help the teacher to enhance the learning environment so that everybody can uh, be successful. And when you do that, your teacher recognizes that, and they support you because they see that you are not just thinking about win for self, but you're thinking about win uh, for the classroom as a whole. The second part is to seek first to understand. Uh, this is a really tough one. Seek first to, to, be, to understand, then to be understood. So this one is really important, right? Because a lot of times when I see teens that are involved in some type of conflict, the first thing they want to say is, you don't understand, you don't understand, you don't understand. And they think that their viewpoint, whatever stance that they have in regards to the, the, uh, the issue, is the only one that exists. And that's absolutely not true. Whenever you are involved in a conflict or an interaction, not only is your point important, but that other point, that other person's point is important too. So the best way to diffuse a situation is to try to understand what the other person's viewpoint is. And once you do that, once you start to understand them and they see that you're outside of yourself and you're trying to connect with them at that level, then they will try to seek to understand you. You're modeling that behavior for them. So first seek to understand and then you will uh, work on being understood. The third one is really important as well. It's called synergizing, right? So synergizing can be encapsulated very simply by saying everybody achieves more together, right? So if you've got personal energy in the classroom and another person has personal energy in the classroom, your energy, if you're keeping it inside of yourself, can only be utilized to help yourself. Now, when you all come together and you synergize to use your energy for the good, what you'll see is that the, the, the captured energy that you have together is much greater than the individual energy that you would have had apart. So think about how you can work as a member of a team in order to be successful. Synergize so that you can uh, achieve your personal goals while the group is achieving their, their, uh, their team goals as a whole. And then finally, sharpen the saw. So what's important about that is that you're making sure that every day that you're spending some time reflecting about what you can do better, that you're reading, not just about for school, but personal reading, learning more about yourself, learning more about the world in which you live, learning more about how you can utilize your tools in order to be successful. So they call that sharpening the saw, right? And every day you got to work on becoming just a little bit sharper, just a little bit more knowledgeable, just a little bit more involved in order to ensure that you have the opportunity to be successful. So those are uh, Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. I'm going to go ahead and post all this information on the website so that you can see it. I'm also going to share stuff with you guys that I think can help you sharpen your own saw and to develop yourselves as young adults because I think it's important that you learn not just what's going on in the classroom, not just what's going on in the extracurricular activities, but you're invested in your own personal development through seeking what's going on outside as well. So uh, a couple things going on. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the football team. Came back down eight and a half to win uh, this weekend in overtime. Outstanding work football team um, on that victory. We actually have a Friday game, at, um, a Friday afternoon game against Oxen Hill this Friday. And that's actually going to be at 3.30 here at our field. So after school, you can go on over to the stadium and take part in the football game. So we're looking forward to, uh, to packing our stadium so we can celebrate our football team. And not just football, I want to congratulate all of the fall sports participants. If you're running cross country, if you're playing soccer, uh, whatever you're doing that uh, is celebrating your JAG pride, I want to congratulate you on your efforts. So being a part of a team is so important, and I'm glad that a lot of you all have taken the opportunity to do that. So it's Monday. And I've taken enough of your instructional time. I'm going to get out your way. I'm your principal, Mr. Brown. Don't have a good day. Don't have a good week. Have a great week. Thank you. <laughs>